Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your August bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys do want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. I do recorded video readings as well as Zoom readings. And up until 6 a.m. on Thursday, or 6 a.m. on Friday morning, guys, um, the Zoom readings are on sale. I've been posting about it for the last week, but I wanted to remind those of you that would see this um, that you guys can still put orders in up to up through Friday at 6 a.m. Those the sale is 45 minute readings for $45 um, for the Zoom readings. Now everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling that is in the description box below for you. You can also follow me over on Patreon now. I do additional readings and content over there. Um, spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. Um, and everything that you guys will need to know about that is in the description box as well. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Pisces, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. I don't know what to do. My life is not together at all. I was trying to get a reaction from you. And getting to know each other. I'm trying to stay positive at the bottom of the deck. Kind of feels like Pisces that your person is dealing with a lot of stuff. Whoever you're thinking about here, it's like they are trying to get themselves together. It's kind of what it feels like. I feel like this person could have messed things up between the two of you. It does kind of feel like they could have done something here to kind of provoke some kind of response, to provoke some kind of reaction. We're going to use the tarot and see what's going on with that, but uh, it's like, as, as, I almost feel like as soon as you guys started to get to know each other, like on a deeper level, the closer that you guys got to this person, um, the harder a time that they were having being vulnerable. And it's like they, they have a lot of stuff going on in their life, whether that's at work, with their family, their home life, their finances. And I almost feel like it was really affecting their energy. I feel like they're realizing with this, I don't know what to do. I think part of that is in relation to like how to get to a better place, how to work the things out that they're trying to. They're trying to stay positive with everything that's going on in their life, but they're not really quite sure, you know, what the exact steps to take are. I also feel like it's in relation to what they don't know what to do when it comes to you, because I do feel like this person has done something to kind of like push you away. Um, that's what it feels like. It's almost like they were doing it on purpose. With this, I was trying to get a reaction from you and I don't know what to do with with everything that's going on. It's like they could have lashed out at you. They could have done something to like push you away to sabotage this. Let's take a look and see. What's going on in this person's headspace? The Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. And the Sun card. Yeah, so they're, they're trying to get to a better place emotionally. They're trying to, it's like, I'm trying to stay positive, right? The sun card is, you know, it can be happiness, but it's also enlightenment and clarity. It's like this person does want things to move forward in a better way, in a better way, with, especially with this um, wheel of fortune here. It's like a positive shift. They want something to move forward. And I feel like that's in their life. They just want things to get better. They want things to improve. And they're really trying to figure out how to do that with this queen of swords energy. I also feel like this is like, you know what? I need to I need to be honest with Pisces about what's going on in my life. You know, the Queen of Swords can be a card of like having those big major conversations. It can be a card of really hashing things out, right? Um, and I kind of feel like here, this person's like, I don't know what to do. You know, I, I want to talk to you about this. I want to I want to tell you what's going on. I want to explain to you, you know, why I, I, I reacted the way I did or what's going on in my life. But I'm trying to I'm trying to make things better here. So this is what's going on in their thoughts. Let's take a look at their feelings. Show me this person's feelings when it comes to Pisces. What are their feelings when it comes to Pisces? 
got the lovers card so they definitely feel an intense connection with you um the lovers is also a major decision it's also a turning point and we're going to cover up the nakedness because youtube doesn't like it but um there's also the space and mountains in between I think I said something similar to Cancer. Cam cancer has some similar energy. So if you have Cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a Cancer, you might want to check out that reading as well. But it's like they have a lot of stuff that they're dealing with with, the, with that mountain being there. And they feel like there's it's causing, they feel like everything that's going on with their life has caused them to either push you away, um, sabotage things, or they just feel like you guys are not in the same place or not on the same page, that there's too much you know, too many obstacles or too much space in between the two of you guys, but I feel like they really want to turn it around. They definitely feel like a connection with you here. Oh my goodness, what's that? The Three of Pentacles. I, I it tried to come out and I put it back in and it tried to come out again, so we're taking it. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot is being put on display for this person, but they could feel like you're maybe you're not on the same page, um, you know, or you're not in the same place. And so maybe they feel like you're a lot further ahead in life than they are. Um, maybe they, you know, they... You know, it's a little bit of an ego type of an energy. They could feel like, you know, you're a lot more stable or secure than them. You know, they don't have enough to offer you. The three of cups. So two threes here are expression and creation. So that's what's weighing on this person's heart. I do feel like this person has a lot that they want to say. And they do see potential here. And I do feel like they do want to reconcile. They do want to get on the same page. They do want to... And they do want to show you, you know, uh, the three, the three of pentacles can talk about something being put on display. Their work is being put on display. Um, I also feel like they want to, it's also following a plan. You know, these people are following a plan to create something here. So I do, I feel like this, this person's trying to, is starting to see where maybe, you know, you guys could work together to, to get out of this energy or to, you know, for them to improve their lives as opposed to, you know, not, I feel like they're trying to come up with a plan here. What are this person's true intentions? What are this person's true intentions? For some of you guys, I'm also getting it. This is probably not going to be for everybody. Um, maybe it's just for like one person. But for those of you where like you have a really close knit group of friends or something like that, they could feel like your friends do not care for them or that your friends don't think that you're they're good enough for you. Okay, that's probably just for one person, but it is a message that is coming up. So, ooh. So we got the Seven of Swords, it kind of flipped around, it was in the reverse, it kind of tried to flip around, and then the Six of Pentacles. So to me, that is, um, you know, the, the Six of Swords in the reverse, even, either way, the Seven of Swords in the reverse and in the upright, it kind of did a flip-flop thing, we'll take both messages here. Um, and I think both of them apply. The Seven of Swords in the reverse can be a truth coming out. It can also be an apology. I kind of do feel that message here because this isn't their true intentions. Like they do want to apologize. They do want to tell you the truth. They do want to actually put the effort in here. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles. Um, they do want to give to this. And it's also an energy of like planting seeds. I also feel that they do worry about things not being reciprocal. Not being able to like match your same energy. And, and what I mean by that, not that they don't want to try to put as an effort, like they don't want to put the effort in, but they just feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Like they can't offer you as much as you can offer them. Like that there's an imbalance there. Um, that is something that's coming up. And I'm not saying that, that you feel that way or that's even true, but that's what that's what their perspective is here. Um, I also feel like with the Seven of Swords, even if it was in the upright position, you know, that can be a card of, you know, it's internal fears that don't exist, right? So where this person is creating these things, that when and maybe you don't see that way. Maybe you don't look at them that way. Maybe you don't care about their bank account. Maybe you know. Maybe it's you don't see what they're seeing. You know. Um. So these could be like false illusions, like these things that they're getting in their way that aren't even real. Um. It can also be like self sabotage energy, and I do feel like that. I don't think it's really a coincidence that that card came out under I was trying to get a reaction from you, because um, it's like they were trying to push you away. They were trying to make you either, you know, make you leave or make you see them that way because that's how they see themselves. Um, so I definitely feel like a self sabotage energy. I feel like a, you know, deceitful energy, but not like lying to you, but like lying to themselves. Um, and having some internal fears that just aren't really there, getting in their own way, messing things up for themselves, you know, things that could be really good. They're definitely not content with the way that things are. The four of wands in the reverse, it's like this is not how they wanted things to go. You know, they're disappointed, they're upset that things aren't, you know, 
this is not how they wanted them to be. I also feel like they're worried that they're not going to be able to to like make their goal. The four of wands can be reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment. And the reverse is like they almost like feel like that maybe they can't. And I, I like I think that goes right back to this um, not feeling good enough, you know, energy or you know not feeling like they're in a right the right position. What actions will this person be taking? Got the Ace of Swords. So they're going to be figuring some things out. They're trying to figure out how to overcome these obstacles. They're gaining some clarity in a situation. The Two of Cups. So I do feel like that could be a very, this combination here could be a very positive um, communication between the two of you. It can be a very positive conversation. This person telling you how they feel. This person, you know, telling you what they've realized. Telling you the truth of the situation. And then devil energy. Yeah, they have a ton of fears. Um, and, and, and a little bit of like a negative, and like a little bit of like a, I feel like they do have like a natural pessimistic vibe because of everything that's going on. Um, but they're trying their best to work through that. I'm trying to stay positive. But I just feel like this is a lot of fears, okay? A lot of fears that this person has. And it's also related to Saturn. And, you know, that is all about restriction where they feel like, you know, their circumstances or certain things about them or their life that is restricting them from having, you know, this beautiful connection with you. But I feel like they're gaining a lot of clarity about that here. And the strength card, having the courage to reach out, having the courage to express themselves to tell you how they feel. But that is what I'm seeing for you guys, my loves. So if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, then just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.